Hey, it's GarageBen411, and today I'm going to show you about automatic filter effect in GarageBen and how to apply them to MIDI uh, instrument tracks. So to do that, I'm going to call it automatic filter, and here's our default screen. So I'm going to change the grand piano track to, uh, I guess, solo star. Alright, I'm going to go down to the details. Turn off the echo, turn off the track echo, increase the reverb a little bit, and I'm going to close the details, and press Command K to open up musical typing, and press this to go into it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to record a simple track. Double click it. I'm going to align it to eighth notes. And I'm going to copy and paste it by pressing Command C to copy and Command V to paste. Okay? Yeah, so we have just uh, a little loop here. Okay. And, uh,. I'm going to duplicate this track by pressing Command D. And I'm going to change this to a techno kit. And real quick, I'm going to press Z. And I'm going to record a quick drum track. Okay. And I'm going to put this right here, double click it, and align it to eighth notes. Close the track editor, and I'm going to copy and paste this to the end of the solo star track, and let's listen to it. Okay, well, just a quick little tune there. Uh, sounds pretty good, but we can add something to the solo star track to make it sound even cooler. So to do that, I'm going to go down to the details options and choose uh, an a add a new instrument effect and I'm going to change this to automatic filter. I'm going to select the automatic filter settings and if you if I select the mode going up for every for the speed every one bar which is just up here one measure in between those two points um and depending on uh, the intensity it will decide uh, how much of the effect to put into it okay uh, if I change the mode to down and set it say every two bars the uh you could hear it being muffled going down over two bars uh which is just these two measures right here so every uh little loop i recorded will be uh, have that effect to it so let's hear it <laughs> set it to the speed to two bars and the mode up and down it will uh, get muffled right about here in the middle as it gets closer to the middle of these two bars so let's hear it okay so if I change the intensity to high 100% on the mode up and down at the speed two bars um, it will basically be completely muffled right about here in the middle so uh, we'll s hear it just for an example and basically the intensity depends on how muffled it's going to be uh, the higher the number the more muffled and less volume it's going to be pretty much so uh, so 
now it's not going to be its muscle group right there. And if I set it to intensity zero, it will have no effect on it on the track that we just uh, applied the effect, this effect to. So yeah, the intensity decides uh, how much it's going to take away from that track. All right. Um. All right. Thanks for watching. I know it was quick, but uh, just giving you an example, and hopefully you learn from it. Uh. So thanks for watching, and don't forget that there will be more tutorials on more effects, uh, in the future. Um. And you might have noticed that the screen recorder uh, watermark is gone, uh, and I finally got the full version. So uh, just remember to uh, subscribe so you can know when the next tutorial is coming up. And if you have any tutorial requests, just email me, garageband411 at aol.com, or just send me a message here on YouTube.